All right, guys. So in a previous video, we showed you a voltage drop and I had to do a setup and, and try to do it. And I know it might've got a little confusing. So um, we've got a live car here with a voltage drop. It's a pretty straightforward one. We didn't have to go searching for it too hard, um, but it is a voltage drop on a car that's happening right now. So I want to kind of bring you into it and show you how we're going to do it. So let's get into it. Okay, so this car came in as a no start, no crank. Uh, it was intermittent, but, but let me show you what we found here. Uh, come on into the battery. If you notice this battery cable end has no cinch bolt. So it's missing the cinch bolt too, okay? So we haven't touched it, we haven't bothered it. We want it to duplicate it. Right now it won't start. Go ahead and try it, Andrew. Right, right now we have nothing. Okay, so let's show you a voltage drop. First, we're gonna show you on a meter. So I gotta be really careful because I don't wanna bump this thing and make it make contact. So I'm gonna go right to this center post right here because the voltage drop is actually between this post and this cable. And I understand we could take that thing and move it around if it fired off, okay, we got it. Okay, but we're gonna show you a voltage drop right here because this is the same thing that would happen anywhere on a car. So if I go right here and I go right there and just make contact there. See, we have 8.44 volts. Across that connection, we have 8.44 volts. So if you watched the previous video, you know that you know, from here to here, it still has a hill to go over. Well, the hill is right in between here, okay? So that's an eight and a half volt voltage drop. So this car only has, and if we go across the battery, 12.69, 8.44, four point two ish volts right to deal to work with that's not going to work let's do it with a scope i'm going to show you what a scope looks like so same thing so you know we always say go to the go to the uh negative battery post with a scope well in this particular case if we went here it still wouldn't be good we you know so we need to go right here to this post okay and then we're going to go again same thing i'm just going to touch it here and there's our same thing, roughly eight and a half volts. Okay, now if Andrew tries to crank it, go ahead, Andrew. It's not gonna do anything and it's already at an eight and a half volt drop. So he's trying it right there. And you could see, you could see some, some, uh, some stuff happening, but basically we don't have enough voltage here to do anything with this car. Um, so this is, and let's show you, let me show you this. If we took, <clears throat> let's say that we took a, um, let's say that we were gonna do a voltage drop. This is a really good example of this. Let's say that we didn't wanna go to the battery. Let's say that this battery is, is under the seat, it's in the trunk, it's somewhere really hard to get to, and we're like, oh, I don't wanna hook the scope to the battery. So I take the scope and I hook it up to this, to this little ground point right here, okay? I mean, it's right on the, on the body, we're thinking, oh, that's going to be a good ground point. That's going to be a fantastic ground, right? I don't have to go all the way to the battery. And I'm going to check the voltage drop from the alternator to this, to this point. So I'm trying to do a voltage drop on the alternator, or maybe I'm trying to do it on the starter, whatever. I'm trying to check a, a, a connection between maybe a ground strap on the engine. So let's go to the starter. No, I'm sorry, let's go to the alternator. All right. Now, go ahead and try to crank it. It's cranking it right now. So what do y'all see on that? On that, We can see it's zero, right? Can you see that on there? Mm -hmm. It's zero. So there is, what it's showing is no voltage drop between these two points. Good connection, good point. So that means that what you would think is that, that this was a good, good all the way back to the battery. We gotta check it to the battery. We're trying to get the electrons back to the battery, right? So now let's go to the battery and do the same thing. So if we're here on the post and we're on the alternator, what's our voltage drop? We're not even trying to crank it. Eight and a half volts, right? Just making sense to everybody, right? So we have a voltage drop between this alternator casing and that battery post. If we did this, let's say that you had a car that came in and I can't get to it down here. On the other side. Let me see if I can get to it. I want to try to. I want to try to show something here. Let 
I'm gonna try to show you something here. So I'll be right back. Stay right there, Andrew. I don't need another person. Hey, Clayton, can I get you for one minute, please? All right. Don't touch the cable end, okay? Okay, what am I touching? You're going to take this, and you're just going to hold it right there. Okay. Okay, don't touch that cable end. Okay, we're out in the parking lot. It's early morning. The sun's shining right on us, so the camera, you might get a little bit of glare here. We've got Clayton out here. He has got the negative lead of the scope on that post, okay? Because we already know where the, where the ground drop is. But I'm gonna show you something. This, let's say this car comes in. It's a no crank, got nothing, right? Maybe it's the starter. And you know you need to check power to the starter, you need to check ground to the starter. You check power to the starter, you do a voltage drop from the positive post down to the starter, and, and you're good, right? You're like, man, I'm good. And then you say, well, I'm gonna check the voltage drop on the ground side. Because you know, you know, you watch the videos, you're like, I gotta check voltage drop on the ground side and the battery's in the trunk, and you can't get to it, right? So, you're, so you don't wanna do that, so you go to that ground point right here. So let's do that first, Clayton. Let's go to that ground point right there. Yep, hold it good on there, okay? So now we're at, instead of being at the battery, battery's in the trunk, let's say, we're, we've picked an easy ground point somewhere that we think is good on the body that's gonna be going to the battery. I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna get on the body of the starter So there's the body of the starter, if I can get it on there, good. You holding that one good over there, Clayton? Yep. Got a good connection? I can't get a good, I can't get it on there, good, hang on. There we go. All right, and we're at zero. Try to crank it. It's cranking it now. Do we have a voltage drop there? Nope, doesn't show anything, zero. Okay, let off. Now go to the negative battery, go just to that post, don't, don't mess with it. Okay, what's our voltage drop? Try to crank it. What's our voltage drop now, guys? Okay, eight and a half volts. There's our voltage drop. So, appreciate it, we're good, thank you. So, let me come back over here, we're not glaring into the sun here. So this is a perfect example one of how to test for a voltage drop, right? How are we doing that? Going from negative to negative with a scope. We can see how that works. Um, good thing about a scope, using a scope on a voltage drop also, it's not really in this case, but if you had something intermittently dropping out or whatever, you'll see that thing pull down. Um, you'll get used to that as you do it more often. But let's simplify it in this case. We had to go straight to that post to find the voltage drop because the voltage drop is right here on this cable end. That's kind of unusual, but it can happen. I mean, obviously there's no pinch bolt in it. So, I mean, we would go right to that. And a lot of guys are just like, oh, I just grab that thing and crank it right up. 100% you can, but for this video purposes, we want to show you how to use this and how the pitfalls of not going to the battery. So I can't put it any other way. I get it. It's hard to get the battery sometimes and get that negative battery cable uh, for the scope on it, or even your meter if you're using a meter. Got to go to the, to the battery. Um, just don't be lazy. There's no other way to put that. Just don't be lazy. Get to the battery and put it on there because I tell you what, if you go and you're chasing this thing and you're thinking, you know, well, it's not a voltage drop, it's not a ground problem, and you got power to it and you think the ground is good, right? And because if we go to the power side, you're going to be good down there, okay? You're, you're going to show perfectly fine down there on the ground, on the power side. Um, I don't know if we have, to, I guess we could show that. Uh, we want to show that on the power side? Come on, let me come on out, Andrew. Let's show the power side real quick. Because I want to show you guys full deal. So what Andrew's going to do now is he's going to take this and just put it on the positive post, okay? 
and then I'm going to go down to the battery. I'm going to see if I can't get to the positive post on the battery. Woohoo! I might have just, I might have said that live on the video here, and then I might not be able to do this. It's going to be a little from up top here. Let's see though. There we go. So I'm on the positive post. Now we're not cranking because I don't have anybody in there, but it's going to be fine because we know what's going to happen. We've got to crank it. We have no voltage drop. So from positive to positive, we have no voltage drop. Go to the negative just to the post. Okay. So there is the negative to the post. Okay. We have power here. Okay. So go now go to the... Um, Go to the ground point on the body. Ground point in the body, we have a drop on the power side. Now go back up to the. We might have that, that post might have been might have jarred that post around now. So the point is we've got good power. So what you would do there is that that we might have just moved that thing around a little bit. Um, you would have show good power to that starter if you went from positive to positive on the starter going doing voltage drop like you've been taught, you're gonna say, that's good. You go to the ground point here, and you go down to that starter, and you go to crank it, you got no voltage drop. You're like, bop, hey, slam dunk, starter. Put a starter on it, nothing, right? Or worse yet, intermittent problem, not so obvious, intermittent problem, car starts, car leaves. A day later, you get the phone call, my car's doing, what do they say? My car's doing the same thing. Now it's coming back, you're paying for a tow, getting it back in here. So go to the battery, point is go to the battery, do the full circuit, that way you're getting the whole circuit and you're able to prove this stuff out, simple voltage drop stuff, it's not hard, you just gotta get your mind around it and just start doing it and, um, and you'll get good at it and you'll fix cars like this. So I hope that helped, I hope that made sense and uh, we'll see you in the next one.